Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. Happy Tuesday to you. 101 things you should do before going to heaven. Number three, eat cheesecake for breakfast. Okay, so cheesecake is not the breakfast of champions. However, it's also not a biohazard substance. It's food. Not particularly nutritious, but food nonetheless. It has all the right ingredients for breakfast. Cheese, milk, eggs, cream. Well, your relationship with food can play a big part in your life and in your health. You can rely on it for comfort or shun it in an attempt to change your body image. You can use food to reward yourself or... Or look at mealtimes as a nutritional battle between good and evil. You can even turn it instead of God, turn to it instead of God for help. The simple fact that you have to eat several times a day, every day of your life, makes what you eat and why something worth reflecting on. God designed your body to require food and water. He could have made you self-sustaining, a creature that needed only air to live. But he chose to make your body dependent on an outside source for survival. Then he gave you a choice as to how you would fill that need. He provided fruits and vegetables, meat and fish, grain and dairy products. He even provided sugar cane for your cheesecake. And just like everything God made, It is all good. However, how you choose to use what God has provided may not always be good. So, eat cheesecake for breakfast just this once. Use it as a litmus test. See how you feel about breaking all of the nutritional rules. Then talk to God about it. Ask him to help you balance enjoyment with nutrition and make wise choices as to what, how much, and how you put it into your mouth. From this day on, right up until you're called home to heaven, feed your body in a way that pleases God as well as your palate. Now, how are you going to please God and your palate? It's simple. When you're sitting down for that cheesecake for breakfast moment, have your Bible laying next to that plate of cheesecake. And after each morsel goes into your mouth and slithers down your throat, take time to read a passage of God's word. That way you'll be filled with your mind and your stomach all at the same time. So, 101 things you should do before going to heaven. Number three. Eat cheesecake for breakfast. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a good and godly week.